Hi, so I've kind of noticed that Paul W. S. Anderson keeps making essentially the same movie every time he directs something, or at the very least he makes the exact same mistakes every single time. It's getting a little tiring saying the exact same thing over and over in the reviews of his films, so I'm going to record this template for reviews of Paul W. S. Anderson films for future use, and I defy any of you to tell the difference if I start just cutting parts of this in into my future reviews. Here we go. Title of a franchise which Paul W. S. Anderson insists that he's a big fan of, but clearly does not understand the very basic tenets of. Describing a plot which is extremely convoluted, and the more you look at it, the less it makes sense, and even a very careless examination of it makes absolutely no sense. It's weirdly written, overly complicated, and really tries desperately hard to create the action scenes that Paul wanted in the film. This stars Mila Jovovich as a sort of superheroine with extreme speed and strength, and she does various martial arts moves and uses guns in a very cool manner, all of it assisted of course by wire work. Other than her, the cast consists of largely unknowns, and even the people that you otherwise see can actually act in movies clearly have forgotten how to in this particular one. The dialogue is very, mostly just flat, but when it really tries to be interesting, it just leads to these weird constructions, things that people would never say, and although you may sort of find it cool the moment you hear it, you'll have forgotten it before you even leave the theater. Although the settings and some of the designs are interesting and attractive, the use of camera and editing largely obscures this in favor of being flashy, and it doesn't even work as being particularly flashy. He could actually kind of learn something from Michael Bay in that area. The action scenes, some of the ideas are good in theory, but on the whole, Usually, he has something climax before even having any kind of proper setup, so you kind of miss the action that might actually be kind of good, or he has these great setups where you're really looking forward to an action scene, and then he never delivers it for some convoluted, more or less plot-related reason or another. And at the end of the day, Although he might be getting slightly better with each film, he's really just making these same mistakes over and over, and one has to really hope that at some point the Yes Men disappear from his midst, or he'd stop showing off his hot wife. He also has this tendency of either misusing and or underusing iconic characters and imagery and the like, and clearly misunderstanding what makes them iconic or interesting in the first place. Action scenes are also plagued by an over-reliance on not only CGI, but really excessive slow motion. Slow motion in places where you wouldn't even normally think to have slow motion, and it really just makes the scenes feel much longer than they actually are, and doesn't actually do anything to, to truly heighten the tension. 